Hi everybody, this is Miss Ruggieri from the Robinson Intermediate Library. I wanted to show you guys how to navigate through Destiny, our library uh, checkout system, uh, so that you could have access to uh, books and put holds on books and also have access to ebooks and uh, collections so that if you are doing like a great big search for a subject that you could just figure uh, see what all we have in our library collection so when you've logged in to your chromebook uh, some of you may have destiny uh, bookmarked as you see right here you might have it somewhere in your uh, menu bar like I do. I have it right here. Uh, however, you've got it, access to it. There's always so many different places to access it. You can access it from our website, the Robinson uh, website. You can have it bookmarked on your Chromebook, um, whatever you've got. And the first time that you will log in, you will see a screen like this. You'll need to select your location, which is Texas. I'm going to come down here and find Texas, the great state of Texas. And enter your school's name. Let's do Robinson. It should start finding it. Here we are, Robinson Intermediate Library. And then you will press go. And give it a few seconds and it will pull up Destiny Discover. That is our library. Now, uh, there's so many options, but just looking at this page, this is the page that you can find uh, books, popular titles. If you'll notice up here, if uh, it's green and says in, that means we do have it on the shelf in the library. If it ever is red and says out, that means yes, someone has it checked out. Uh, right now, this is uh, beginning of school, so a lot of the books are going to be green because they are all checked in. Uh, you can go down, scroll down, and uh, see that we've recently added some new books to our collection. And if you're interested in searching like that, you can also press see all and it will show you every new book that has recently been added to our collection. Just press go back to get to that main page. You can search by topic. Say you wanted to see a scary book because it's Halloween and you're in the mood for a spooky book. Well, press on that collection. And as you can see, here are some things that might you might enjoy. And if you'll notice at the top, yes, they're all in. Those the green little triangle with the word in means yes, they're sitting on the shelf waiting for you to check out. Um, <clears throat> let's say we were interested in the year of shadows and you want to go, oh, that looks like a neat cover, but I wonder what it's about. You click on the title and it will bring up what the book is basically about. Some other books that you might like, kind of like when you are shopping at Walmart, it shows you what other people uh other products you could be interested in. It gives you all the information about the book. It gives you the reading level. It gives you the interest level um, and AR stuff. Uh, I like this down here. Reading level 3.8. That means third grade, eighth month. So it's, you know, towards the end of the third grade book. Interest level, fifth through eighth graders are really interested in this type of book. Um, you can place it on hold from here. You'll just need to simply log in. And so what's neat this year is Mr. Thomas and the technology department have been working very hard. Uh, you can sign in with Google. So you'll select your Google, select this tab, and you'll log in like Google. Now I, uh, since I'm the administrator of the uh, library here at the intermediate school, I have to log in differently. So pardon me while I log in. I think I've got the right password. Give it time to pull up. Then I can, if I wanted to check this book out, I can press hold. I select that tab and it is going to send me, Mr. Jerry, a message 
that you would like this book checked out. So what I'll do as the library lady, I will go and find that book and I will uh, put it on a shelf with your name on it. And when you come into the library, uh, you just tell me you have a book on hold and what the title is, your name, and I'll go get it for you. It'll be on the shelf back here. Or it may be that your teachers might want uh, class books delivered. And so in which case I will come around with a little cart and I will have your book with your name and I will get that book to you that way. So it's real, 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 real easy. And so um, to get back to after you've placed a book on hold, just click out of that and you can go back and browse some more areas. Uh, ebooks. You do have access to ebooks through Destiny. Now, the thing about that is you have to have your own username and your own password, in which I will give you that information. If you are doing remote learning, yes, you can access Destiny from any device and you have access to ebooks, I will have to get you that username and password. Even if you are not doing remote learning and you're on campus with us and you want to do an ebook or read an ebook like at home or over the weekend, yes, you do have access to that. Every person in the school will get their own username and their own password. And yes, that's something that you will have to remember because it's not going to be your Google stuff. Uh, so just keep that in mind. And then collections. Sometimes you come into the library and say, you are doing, you got to do some research on, I don't know, say an India. And you've got a project that you've got to do. You've got to do some research. And we don't have a lot of these, but I do hope to grow this year uh, more of these collections. Uh, but you can click on just say Native Americans. And what will happen is it will pull up every single item that has to do with Native Americans that are in our library. Uh, and this does say Robinson ISD library. So this is all the libraries. Uh, if there's something at the primary school that you need for research, I can make arrangements to get that book here for you uh, or at the high school, vice versa. Uh, mostly try to stick to our school because of COVID-19. We really don't want to be sharing a lot of those books, but if you really need this book, we can make arrangements for that. So here's a list of books that are on um, America, uh, Native Americans. And you can go up here and look at it different ways. I like this because I like to see the title of the book and it's going to give you some uh, uh, tag words that you can pop open and find even more books that so you were doing uh, your information, your research project on Caddo Indians. Well, when you look on, uh, select that um, tag, it will pull up those books that we have on Caddo Indians or have to do with Caddo Indians. Okay. That's pretty much how we, you guys will get around in Destiny Discover. It's uh, very user friendly, uh, very colorful. Uh, the big thing is um, uh, make sure you're logging in with Google. And like I said, Mr. Thomas has, uh, and his department has worked very hard to set this up for you guys. Uh, and then also the eBooks, you will have to remember your own username and your own password. That is something very separate from our Google login. Uh, and that has to do with the Destiny uh, Follett company that we work with. That's just a requirement of theirs. So if you have any questions, as always, feel free to email me. My email is april.ruggeri at Robinson K. 12.tx.us. You can email me. You can email me through Schoology. Uh, I check that every day. So if you have any questions, parents, if you have any questions, teachers, if you have any questions, um, feel free to get a hold of me.